Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to uh, an annoyingly long-lasting fire. It's still going, um, but you know, we're just working around it at the moment. It's it's being comfortably annoyed, uh, ignored. Um, Tarzan, can you haul things? No. Lolita, could you please just get these components? I don't like seeing components lying about because they can slowly become destroyed. Oh, there's a rat. He's just been burned. He's had his neck burned off and everything. Poor little rat. Anyway, um, so we made it through the siege with nary a scratch. And uh, now it's time for us to carry on with just doing what we're doing. Uh, our research is coming along quite nicely, although it's not happening as quickly as it uh, as it normally does. And I think that's because Tico and Phoebe are in here. So Phoebe is 16, half is 17, Tico 11. So I'm going to put Tico back down to 3. I want half to really sort of uh, focus on the research in this place. Uh, it's much more... It's much more powerful when the power couple of Tico and Half are doing the researching. Although Half is uh, currently having a bit of a, a bit of a schnoot unroofed. Where? Oh, we must have taken a shot in this section somewhere. I can't see where though. That's not the greatest. How about in here? This is all indoors, indoors. But this is marked as unroofed now. Um, let's check our zone areas. And we'll make sure that this is all build roof area, which it is. So I'm not quite sure where the unroofing has occurred. Let's just mark all of this up just to be on the safe side because this, yeah, this is all marked as unroofed as well. So we've taken a, an artillery shell somewhere through here. I think it's here, which is, uh, it has caused our base to no longer be covered up, which is a Piece of a bother, and I'm not quite sure where it is. Oh god, now what? Ghost. Alright, off to bed with you, ghost. Or oh, well, this one, maybe. I don't care. Alright, you play musical beds. Who's still got an infection? Malaria. Rest until healed. Half, you're fine. Food poisoning. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Uh, Z is fine. Maza needs a new kidney, which I don't particularly uh, know what to do about. Sam needs a new lung. Yeah, fine. Malaria minor. Are you resting already, Rex? You are. Sammy. Oh, God, Sammy. Um, Ghost is resting. Tico is fine, and Blur is resting as well. So that's fine. We're okay. Um, where is this unroofed section? Because it just says that the whole area is unroofed. It doesn't help us. Alright. Let's ignore that for the time being. The fire's been put out. All of the uh, steel, with the exception of a few pieces, has been hauled back. and can hopefully count on the dogs to do the rest of it. And all of this mining is going to slowly, slowly take place. Colonist... Rex! Oh, I mean, I love you for helping out, Rex. But I really do wish that you would just rest until healed. Because malaria is not something that I want you... No, rest until healed. Right, um, 76%, immunity 93. Mazer is able to tend to uh, Rex, so hopefully this immunity will tick up. And, uh, oh my god, an advanced helmet has been completed. What a goddamn miracle. Um, okay, where did it go? Up here somewhere? No? Where, where would... If we can apply this game again. Oh my god. I'm not doing very well at the locating of things. We've got all this dead man's clothing here. Which I definitely don't want. That should all be incinerated by... 
uh, one of these things, I think we're just overloading people with jobs. I think that's the problem here. And now there's an advanced helmet which has been built and has somehow disappeared. Um, unless someone's put it on. I don't know. I don't know where it's gone. It's disappeared somewhere. Look, doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Now, um, we've struck some compacted steel. So Lolita has just discovered a good vein of it down here. So that should help us to uh, carry on with our GSD sort of, uh, sort of system here. Um, okay. All right. Good. Now, research-wise, we've got our grand penetrating scanner coming online. I think that, I mean, I'd love to go all the way up to the ship cluster stuff, or the, the ship bits. Um, but I kind of feel like we can and kind of need a tissue printer as well. Um, because that might allow us to build organs. And if we can build a new lung uh, for Sam and a new, what was it, a kidney for Rex? No. I keep forgetting. Clavicle. Mm. Ghost. Infection major. Where are you, ghost? You're in bed. Okay. Well, there's a few people that actually have advanced helmets already, which is good. Maybe I should make some vests as well. Steel advanced helmet. Yeah, okay, cool. So people are slowly picking those helmets up and putting them on, which is pretty rad, honestly. Let's do... In here... So we've got advanced helmets. We've got enough of those. Let's do... Let's do five more. And then let's add... Um, armor vests. And we'll have... 10 of those that should be good so we'll just let people come and grab those as they please because it seems that they're quite comfortable with just picking stuff up and wearing it and off they go all right so let's um let's carry on shall we this mining operation that's going on over here i think is probably chewing up too much of people's time so i'm just going to cancel that out for now all right cancel all of these cancel all of that Right, and then orders uh, mine, and let's just mine this section here and get this steel. Hopefully, uh, that'll be you know enough for what we need. Uh, we do have 159 now, which is great, uh, and I think oh yeah, there's these as well. Let's haul those. So, oh look, there's a whole bloody lot of it right here. Let's just get that and this. Good. We'll get the exposed stuff first. We don't need to strip mine the entire bloody world. Alright. So, now that that has been queued up, and we don't have quite so much mining stuff, um, you know, getting in the way, let's look at a few other things that we need to concentrate on. Meat is a problem again, although we do have some eggs there, which is nice. Um, but we might be well off getting these guys hunted. And we'll check on how our chickens are doing. Because I think that chooks do need a bit of uh, a bit of looking at. So let's um let's check these roosters out. Um male adult. Rooster okay, so let's just murder all of the roosters except for rooster one. Because you only need one. We'll close that out. And then we'll let the hens carry on with their egg-laying shenanigans. I mean, look at this one. What's this one doing? Wandering. Health. Um, no. Oh, that's a rooster. That's not going to have an egg. That's also a rooster. Where are all my hens? Oh, they're the white ones. Okay. Um, egg progress. 16% fertilized. Okay. 11%. Uh, and so on and so forth. So, we can keep an eye on those. And what we'll then do is... 
we will then turn off the ability to use eggs. Um, it's freeze in. Oh, I see. So it's fertilized. And there's some turkey eggs there as well. So they're still progressing, but because they are freeze in, it's, um, they're basically deteriorating at this stage. Um, cool. Um, I'm still getting bugged by this whole zone and missing roof sort of situation here. I can't quite... Unless it's in this little knob in here. Is it in there? Is it in here? Let's just... Let's just paint the whole bloody base with roof. And uh, hopefully someone will come and fix up wherever that roof is uh, is broken. Um, right. Half and Phoebe. Back at the research. I would have liked Half and Tico to be doing it, but that's fine. As long as we can start pushing through all of the bits and pieces that we need. And, uh, you know, maybe then uh, get this tissue printer. 3D craft surrogate organs. Excellent. That's what we want. Cool. Um, so hunting's underway. What else are we doing? What's going on? There's not really anything else to achieve this episode, with the exception of getting that research underway. Have we harvested a bunch of Devil Strand? Do we, like, have Devil Strand up here? We've got beaver skin. What's in here? Aha! Devil Strand, boys and girls. Let's make ourselves some Devil Strand clothing. Um, although we've got cloth stuff going on at the moment. Hmm. Eh, it's fine. We'll leave that as it is. So... Muse is replanting these plants here for the chooks. We've got a squirrel here, which you can just die, mate. I don't really need a squirrel wandering around and messing the place up. Um, what is this? Where did that come from? Ooh, a pirate merchant. Cool. Welcome aboard, folks. Lady the Merchant has come to grace the, uh, grace our... Ooh, what's this? Metal tiles. Um, let's see, floors, remove floor. Free steel, sweet. Um, so Lady has come to grace us with, uh, some goodies. And, uh, we will quite happily receive them. As soon as Zia gets out of bed, we're going to let her have her little rest first. And, uh, and then we'll send her down to see what these guys have on offer. I think Rex was also fairly good at social, yeah. Maybe Rex can do it. Unless you're going to bed, Rex. Which it looks like you are. Yes. Okay. We'll wait for Zia to wake up then. Um, unroofed. Ah, where? Is there a way that I can like do... Oh. Toggle visibility of roofs. Well, that bloody helps, doesn't it? Okay. It doesn't look like there are any gaps in this. I can't see any problems here. Unless it's, like, in here somewhere? Or... What is that? What is this? Building rubble. Okay. So, can I do, like, this? And just build a number there to sort of seal that up? Let's find out. Cactus, come and do this for me. Need marble blocks. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, who's not making marble... Oh. Never mind then. Okay. You're already doing that. Alright, let's see if this fixes this problem. Come on, Cactus. Get your butt up here, dude. Alright, good man. So, I'm going to check this out. And replacing this yields... It's now indoors. Great! And can I just deconstruct this now and it'll be fine? Let's find out. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, Zia, could you please come and have a chat with Lady? And we'll see what she has to trade. Um, so, is that now marble block, smooth marble, brightly lit, unroofed? Okay, so no, we do need to keep that there, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want to um, build a copy. It's. Oh, okay. 
What do you want to buy? Uh, want to buy some turkeys? Maybe. My god, we've got a lot of foxes. Um, I don't want... Bo uh, no, definitely don't want boom labs. I could give you some muffalos. But they're probably bonded to people as well. And jeez, they're worth a goodly amount, aren't they? Absolutely great. Um, Psychoid Pico. Ah. Very easy to produce, but wary of addiction. Okay, cool. Uh, wake up, go juice. Um, I don't want to sell off any of that stuff. I can sell you some gold, but I kind of want to keep that floating about. There's really nothing that this person has that I want. So, sorry. On your merry. We'll, uh, we'll carry on with our... With our shenanigans as best we can. Cool. So, let's see if we can get... Oh, Cactus has gone to bed. We'll get someone to come and build that uh, little nubbin of wall there so that we can... There we go. Muse is taking care of it. And boom. Indoors. Excellent. I suppose I could do that and then select that as a roof area. But uh, not sure. Um, that's one thing I should also consider. Down here... This is still marked as a home area, so I don't need that. Is there anywhere else? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the, the fishing area. All right, cool. So we're getting some fresh steel mined up. Probably don't need all of that. So let's just cancel that request. We'll let him grab this stuff and haul that back. And then we'll carry on. Carry on with our dastardly plans. And those plans at the moment involve some more steel helmets. So people are a bit better, you know, looked after. And getting this research completed, because this, as far as I'm concerned, is our number one priority. Um, for starters, researching how to repair people. And secondly, researching how to get people off this godforsaken planet. Because uh, at the moment, we're all stranded here, and it's just not a very nice place. Did ground penetrating... Okay, ground penetrating radar is completed. Let's get the tissue printer underway. Um, I don't think that prosthetic eye got completed, did it? No. Okay. So that, I mean, oh well. I could just look here and go, Bill's light receptor. Still outstanding. Don't know why? Because we have plasteel and components. Like, right freaking here. So someone just needs to get in and make it. Oh, thanks, Rex. <laughs> Your timing is impeccable. Um, so that should take care of that, which means that we'll get that uh, eye for whoever the hell needed it. I can't remember. And we can carry on with uh, staring at this research room and hoping that these guys will work really, really hard. Of course, this next one that I've decided to make is spacer level, so it's going to take a little bit longer than usual. <sighs> what else is really outstanding? I mean, there's not a huge amount here. Honestly, we could consider doing some, um, so we, we push down into this path and we now can make charge shot weapons. So we could consider going into here and saying, all right, well, let's have some charge rifles because these things are pretty ballin'. So good that they don't even have a description. Um, but yeah, charge rifles are, are pretty good weapons, all told. They have a relatively short range of fire compared to something like a sniper rifle. But when you equip a good number of people um, with charge rifles and stand them all in a line, they do a good amount of damage. It's like, you know, an upgraded assault rifle, pretty much. So maybe once we've got our armor vests up and running, um, we can look at doing that. So two more advanced helmets, which people are uh, hopefully going to just pick up and wear. And then we can uh, push on with some new weaponry after that. Which is cool. Um, so we're running at three times speed at the moment. Just to help sort of push through some of the bits and pieces that we need. And you can see that we're starting to get through what we need to do. Because people are starting to clean. You know you've got too much work on when people aren't cleaning. Oh, hey. Well, this is kind of pushed out as far as I want it to go now. Let's deconstruct this moisture pump and probably this one as well and we'll leave this lake just as this little little wiggly lake here oh look at that 
steel and components. Beauty. A rat! Oh. Well, that happened so quickly, and the rat evidently died so quickly, that I didn't even get a chance to go and have a look at it. Cool. Okay. Um... Well, now what? More research? More... Oh my god, look at how filthy this place is. There's shitty footprints everywhere. So someone's come through here, walked in turkey shit, and then staggered around out here. There's blood and dirt and horrible stuff all over the place. Thankfully, Cactus is on the job, scrubbing the place until it shines. And this turkey house... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like I need to move... Actually, you know what? I kind of feel like the turkey house shouldn't be here. I kind of feel like when it's here, we have to pass through the turkey filth to get out and put food out here and get out and place uh, and harvest food. Um, maybe we should move them up into the old, you know, abandoned limb storage facility, which we never get around to completing. Oh no, an eclipse. One of the moons of this planet has orbited in front of the sun. An eclipse has begun. So that means that our solar panels are down. Uh, it's currently very windless, so the wind power is offline. So we're going to need to... Um, yeah, we're going to need to flip these batteries on. Just to help out with... Actually, you know what? Flip these on. Um, and we'll flip these off. That should be... That should be fine to keep us online until these two get flipped on. The bionic eye has been completed. And so we can now go and install that into Lolita. Because she currently has a burned right eye. Let's cue that up with a fresh bionic eye. Oh, God, this is really cool. Just slowly, slowly replacing all of the body parts of, uh, of all of my colonists. Here comes Lolita, in here, medicine standing by, she's going to get well looked after by, hopefully, Mesa. I do prefer it when Mesa does the uh, the operations. She does tend to do a little bit better uh, better job than, uh, than the other doctors we have on staff. Um, and it, yeah, it just makes me feel better to see her doing these sort of things. I know that, oh shit, it's Rex. Rex, you better not screw this up, buddy. What is your doctoring? 13. Oh, that's all right. That's pretty good. It's Muse that I have a problem with. And half. Mm. There should be like a minimum level. Um, like you should be able to set it so that you say, all right, well, in order to do surgery, your level has to be 12. But if you're just tending to someone and feeding them, then you can do that with a level 5. Right, because feeding someone while they're in bed, it's not exactly a difficult thing. Right, it's it's fairly easy. But thankfully, um, that operation went quite nicely, and Lolita is now um, the proud owner of a brand new bionic eye, which is going to enhance her sight quite nicely as soon as she comes out of anaesthetic. So I'm pretty thrilled with um, pretty thrilled with how that all works out. Right, I mean, it it just it's to the point where pretty much everything that these guys get up to, we can just, you know, plonk a fresh bit of kit into them. The only thing that we have trouble with at the moment is lungs and kidneys and things, and hopefully that will soon no longer be a problem. Um, but that's going to require a bit more research and a bit more time. I get the feeling that um, on this map I should, or on this uh, episode... I should maybe uh, maybe do a bit of. So I tend to I tend to try and keep my edits very um, very minimal. I try to you know when I make an episode like this, I try to have it so that I'm not chopping and changing too much. I'm trying to make it so that it's more natural. It's more like a mini stream, right? It's just. You hanging out with me for a half an hour while, while I play a game. With this one, however, um, well, I've kind of run out of things to do for the, for the time being. You know, we're kind of waiting on research to happen. We're waiting on construction to, to occur over here. There's not really any... Oh, 
Well, speaking of things that I've been waiting on, there's not really been anything that that I've gone, oh God, we really need to build an extra X or we really need to, you know, um, set up an extra Y with the exception of this bloody thing, which has taken a freaking dog's age to complete. Um, but yeah, there's nothing that I've gone, well, we desperately need for some time. Like this base has gotten very, very stable. And it's to the point now where, you know, the attacks that we keep coming under, they haven't really ramped up as hard as I thought they were going to. Um, you know, so when things do go pear-shaped, um, it tends to be... It tends to be relatively sort of workable. Like, we don't have any major, major battles. Like, we've lost only, you know, in the not-too-distant uh, past, we've only lost um, two people. So, uh, what, Veli and and Lauer have gone the way of the dodo. Um, and everyone else just, you know, we just keep patching them up <laughs> and doing what we can to keep them up and running. Um... Which is fairly abnormal. Like, every time I've played this game in the past, there'll come a time where you're sitting pretty like this. Look, now that I'm starting to say this, I'm starting to think, what the hell am I saying? If I turn around right now and say, oh, all of this is really simple and easy, and, you know, we're doing really, really well. What do I have to worry about? I freaking know that the very next thing that's going to happen is that we are going to, um, you know... <laughs> We, we're just going to get completely reamed by something that I didn't see coming. I know that's what's going to happen. So I need to shut my big face um, and not say any or not say very much more about the situation. I feel like components are currently causing us uh, a bit of grief. And I can't see any on the map anywhere. So I tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. Here's our next target. The next thing we need to do is... Is it in... I think it's in Misk. No, in fact, I just... Ooh. Long-range mineral scanner. Or a ground-penetrating scanner. So, does this one... In nearby areas, the lumps of... Wow. Does it have a range on it? Wow, the range is the entire freaking map. And then the ground-penetrating one... Oh, okay. Let's do... A long-range scanner first. And we'll nestle it just in here. Or can it be indoors? Does it have to be indoors? It can't be indoors, evidently. Uh, it can be outdoors, however. So we'll just nestle it in here. Um, so that it's, you know, close to the entrance of the base and it won't get damaged too quickly. It does require eight components, which we don't currently have. But it might help us to find additional components out there in the wild. We've also got a component table here. The component assembly bench. Um, but it's not producing components at a fast enough rate. So maybe we'll... We can build another one, but it requires four to... Oh, God, that's always the way, isn't it? When you're running out of something, and so in order to get more of something, you need more of something to produce more of something. But anyway. Um, and it's currently... What do we got here? Shipbuilding basics. Okay. Huh. Let's see. Well, that then means that we can push up into this zone. But is there anything else that we need? Let's go synthetic organs next. And we'll get that out of the way so we can potentially start making some synthetic organs. It's currently pushing into winter and it's quite cold. And it's um, starting to get cool inside the base. And I've just had a little, a little idea here. Check this out. Because these two heaters are currently exhausting outside. Which is cool. That's what you want, right? Then you've got this little roof section and away you go. So what we're going to do is we're going to temperature here. Great. And who can do that for me? Cactus, can you make this a priority, please? We're going to cut a vent into here. And actually, we're going to need another one this way. Right? I have a cunning, cunning plan. Something cunning and sexy and fun to just finish off this episode. We get these two guys running onto this. 
All right, we get these two vents here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change this, build a roof over this section. And this is another idea. Like we're using the waste heat from the... Um... Okay, so this closed out in the winter time. We're going to have to be careful about this. So indoors now, this is 25 degrees. And that should then start feeding its way out through this vent when it arrives. And then warming up this base. 27, 20... Wow, okay. It's a bit warmer than what I had anticipated. Um, but, yeah, so when this is... You know, when it's the... Um, when it's the winter time, close this, open this. When it's the summertime, close this, open this. And what we might do is just take a moment to deconstruct these two doors. And just wall this off. So it's, you know, I don't want people walking through there. I want this just to be a nice little void where, no, Cactus, you're going to get, oh, no, okay. Um, I want this to be a nice little void, which is just the outbound vents for these two chillers. Um, and then we can actually, let's, let's do one more of these here. Uh, hmm. Nah, it's fine. One should do the trick, but we are totally out of uh, steel at the moment as well. So, mineral woes afoot, but temperature should be a bit better now. We can just let this heat just dump out and slowly work its way up through the base this way. Um, and hopefully, it means that we won't have to spend so much on heating this joint. Cool. Anyway, well, look, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry that this was a bit of a wonky, I don't know what the heck I'm... How's that for perfect timing, eh? Guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye.